The way that the story is told by the artist will always impact how the world views the song and what its intent is. Um, take a song like Sweet Home Chicago. The one thing that that song is seen as now is a party song. It's seen as a celebration of Chicago versus the intent of the original song by Robert Johnson was the story of a guy trying to pick up a girl in, in a bar or somewhere and convince her to leave the man she's with to go with him to Chicago. The way that that song was originally delivered, uh, you know, baby don't you wanna go, uh, there's lots of work to be had in Sweet Home Chicago. That song, those lines are impactful because it's his story. We're not from the Deep South trying to figure out how to get up here so that we can make a, a, an impact, so that we can make a better life for ourselves, you know? But in its original form, that's what it was. I'm, I get to tell you about the great stuff that's here. I get to tell you, I get to ask you, you know, I say one and one is two, two and two is four. If you didn't come to party, take yourself out the door, you know? So come on, baby, I know you want to go to this sweet old place, sweet home Chicago. Come on, baby, don't you want to go? Go oh, to that land of California. Oh, sweet home Chicago. The, the space to improvise in classical music is, I would think that it would be tough to find because classical music is written. And you have a story that's literally written. And so this is the way this story goes. But the beauty of music is that it's just moving air. Inside of the blues world, when I'm playing a harmonica solo, there's no written anything. I'm playing what I think is going to sound cool. That's it. That's all I'm working from is my imagination. When something's written out, it's not encouraging you to use your imagination, but the ability to use your imagination inside of that written frame has got to be special. My initial reaction was, was real simple, was, wow. I mean, to, to look at the history, histories of not only two artists that had this parallel, but uh, two groups of, of oppressed uh, people that were going through similar oppressions at the same time. To see those things in parallel and seeing how art has always been a, a point of escape for those moments in, that, are, that should be obviously correctable and seen as wrong. It also parallels a lot of what we're living in still. This is a culturally impactive thing that is happening. And for those individuals that are going to come in and, and experience this, um, it's, it's going to be special.